At most, medium tanks are the backbone of a team. Those are well-balanced all-rounders capable of carrying out a wide variety of missions. Breaking through an enemy formation at cap zone, guarding flanks, launching lightning-quick attacks. A medium tank can do it all. That's why today we're going to talk about the most interesting vehicles of the class. The fastest, the deadliest, and the toughest. Let's start with the Panther A. This German cat has really good armor, with the front of its hull easily brushing off shells coming from most light or medium tanks. At the same time, this Panther has no problem penetrating enemy's defenses on its own. When you fire its 75mm cannon, loaded with APCBC rounds, it's game over for even the most well-armored opponents. You have to be wary of the tank's weaknesses, though. The armor on its turret is certainly not the sturdiest out there, and the Panther makes for a rather big target. It's also painfully slow in reverse, with a max speed of only 4 kph. There's no darting back to cover on this one. The next vehicle on our list is an Italian tank of American descent, the M26A1 Pershing. Why the Italian version specifically, you might ask? Well, first of all, because it's fitted with a very punchy gun taken from the M46. Furthermore, it has decent protection in the front, making it a tough nut to crack at long range. And thanks to a well-armored turret and a max depression of minus 10 degrees, it performs really well even on very uneven terrain. Moreover, this tank has access to a very nice selection of rounds, including APCBCs, smokes, and APCRs, the last of which are capable of penetrating more than 250 millimeters of steel. All in all, it's a pretty good all-rounder. With only one slight problem, we really wish it had a more powerful engine. It's not as bad as, say, the T-95, but it takes a lot of time to get it going at full speed. Then there is the Japanese tank called the Chi no Tu. Its 75mm cannon is devastatingly powerful for its BR. Its rounds, carrying 80 grams of TNT, can also pierce up to 150 millimeters of armor. At its BR, there are literally only several vehicles capable of surviving even a single hit with one of those. And it's probably only fair that the vehicle itself doesn't have much in terms of defense. And it's also rather slow. With that kind of firepower though, <laughs> totally worth it. The FV4202 is a British tank with decent, albeit somewhat peculiar, armor. Its upper frontal plate, sloped at almost 70 degrees, can bounce a lot of shots. The tank's turret is also pretty sturdy, and houses a nice, punchy 20-pounder equipped with a two-plane stabilizer. At the same time, it has rather thin armor in the front of the hull, routinely penetrated by high-caliber rounds. And the tank is not the fastest, let's put it this way. In the hands of a steady, cool-headed tanker, though, it gets the job done. In style! Ta -da! The first French vehicle here is the Lorraine 40T. It has a lot going for it. A 100mm cannon, ammo with nice penetration rates, a drum autoloader with seven shots, and exceptional mobility. Thanks to a weight-to-power ratio of 21 horsepower per ton, this French tracked warrior is almost flying around the battlefield, going even faster than some light tanks. What's the catch then? Armor, or more precisely, the lack of it. The tank is protected by 30 mm, or in the best case scenario, by 40 mm of steel. That can save you from some machine gun fire, but not from tank shells and the Lorraine 40T has a pretty big frame, making it a rather easy target. Another medium tank that has to be on the list is the Soviet T-44-100. First, 
its UFP can stop most shells fired by World War II era guns. Second, its excellent mobility allows the tank to perform really well both on the front line and in the flanks. Third, its D-10T gun gives you a lot of firepower to play with, without sacrificing penetration capabilities or its firing rate. The tank still has some flaws, obviously. Its UFP, however sturdy it may be, can still be pierced by modern guns, and it takes the gun quite a while to stop wobbling and bouncing after an abrupt stop. So, brake smoothly. Finally, we simply have to mention the one and only T-3485. This is a quintessential medium tank. It has mobility, a bouncy enough armor, and a quick firing gun with powerful shells, and zero critical flaws. It doesn't mean that you don't have to put in work, though. If you're not angling your armor, it can be penetrated by almost anyone and your gun has a very limited depression of minus 5 degrees. But if you learn to work around those shortcomings, the T-3485 will prove time and again that it's a highly versatile tank that can excel in any kind of situation. What medium tanks are your favorites? Please go on, tell us in the comments below, and see you in battle!